three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. All righty, folks, we're coming in on this Friday, the day we've been waiting for. we got The Undertaker in here with us. Good morning, Tamla. Good morning. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How about you, Pat? Pat's not. I'll be I'll be better if I push my mic button. There yeah, you I'm go. good, Stephen. Push Thank your you button. for asking. I reckon yeah. Mr. Harry Vaughn, Mr. Smarty Pants, Mr. Chicken Butt out there. Did you order your Trump Bible? Did you order your Trump Bible? I did. Did you order yours? Oh, yeah. You got yours coming? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm all about that. I think that's a good move. And he actually, don't he have some other stuff in there that goes along with it, like your rights and three tennis shoes yeah three tennis shoes but hey they oh, were uh, all the there were, copy of the, there were three uh, what, three or four presidents in the same they all flew to new york yesterday you see that yeah but uh, yeah yeah i know uh, yeah biden went to the memorial service and then trump had a uh had a fundraiser i think and then they had a riot outside uh the fundraiser yeah is uh, that am i telling is I that the, way the other way around yeah. you, oh is that the other way that around backwards. biden was hanging out with yeah. lizzo and uh yeah. And, uh, oh, oh, they had a riot? Debate. They had a riot? I mean, a protest? Mm-hmm, I think so. At Biden's thing? I think Trump was at a, he was at a wake for a slain police officer. Well, what kind of, what kind of a president would do that? What a horrible man. I mean, honestly. Terrible. But did you get your Bible yet, Stephen? I've got it coming. <laughs> I got it coming. But, hey, y'all don't know this. I mean, Pat's all upset at me about ordering my Bible. But you know what? He's ordered Mike Tyson. He hopes to deliver a knockout. That's what this headline is. To cannabis edible ears. He's selling cannabis edible ears. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> this is no joke. So we got oh, we got some for the Democrats, and we got Bibles for the Republicans. I, I wonder, does does Evander Holyfield get a cut of that deal? You would think so, but yeah, it might. Yeah, yeah, you might. ought to get some residuals or the something there, right? Mike Bites. That's what they're called. Mike Bites. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Good for you. <laughs> you can get watermelon. You can get black eye berry. Black eye berry. Oh, boy, this just sounds delicious. I think I'm going to stick with Trump's Bible. What do you think? I think you're going to stick with blueberry moon pies, buddy. I'm with you on that. I've been working on that. I'm going to have to call. He actually gave me his phone number. I'm going to contact him. about. I've got some ideas, man, some flavor ideas. Blueberry? Okay. Oh, man, pie? they're good. Are you kidding me? Blueberry? They have those? Yes, they're new. They're actually out selling the chocolate. Of course, I still favor the chocolate ones, but yeah. Oh, did not know that. We actually had a taste test last night. Everybody did because I had some freebies. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. And, yeah. And at you, my house, chocolate's still coming out minute. on top. Are you implying you shared your moon pies last night? Well, well, just my family. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were scaring me there for a minute. I'm thinking, man, potted meat flavored oh, mu- uh, moon oh. pies. Okay, so that's you know, not the, okay. The, there are people trying to eat breakfast this morning, <laughs> Stephen. I'm Cut telling you, out. man, I think that would sail. I don't. Yeah. I don't think so. What about possum flavored? <laughs> Possum flavor? <laughs> what? We could like get them get the possum drop back, and we could give them out at the possum drop. Possum flavor. There you go. I'm thinking okay. outside of the box, man. How about pita, pita flavored moon pies? I wonder what that, what would that tastes like. They'd be very liberal. It's got to be better than these Mike Tyson ears, would you not think? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. You know, it's kind of. I reckon they went and had that big fundraiser up there with. Uh, Biden and uh, and then the president was there too, wasn't he? Uh, who all was there? Yeah, Obama was there. Obama was there, yeah. and uh, and then Obama's uh, vice president, uh, what was his name? Clinton, Bill Clinton. I think Bill Clinton was there, <laughs> wasn't he? Y'all are awful quiet Clinton. this morning. Come on, Look, man, cough it up Bill a little Clinton, bit. <laughs> we're we're mystified by your lack of uh, understanding of history. Bill Clinton was uh, was president, wasn't he? Well, he was up there, but I think Hillary's actually the president, wasn't she? Okay, all right. Well, and then rewrite history there, Stephen. I've got her down. I guarantee it. But anyway, yeah, Trump attend the wake of the slain NYPD officer. What a jerk! Yeah, I mean, honestly, this is just crazy. But 
I think this uh, fundraiser. How much they end up? How much they end up uh, raising? I thought it was something like 20, twenty-five million. Twenty-five million. Yeah. Wow, that's just crazy to me. I wonder how much Trump I mean, raised is it, it, uh, going to the wake. Probably nothing. Was right. that is it, is it? Isn't Trump having his fundraiser this weekend at Mar-a-Lago, and it's raised already thirty-three million down south, south. Yep, down south. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I just cannot imagine twenty-five million. What is that? Did he do? What's the guy they just raided his house? P. Diddy. Yo, was he there? P. Diddy. Was he there? He's in. Uh, he's in some Caribbean island that doesn't have extradition treaties. <laughs> Does he really? We we'll get to some of that later on. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So anyway. Hey, yeah. today is the day in nineteen seventy-three that the last troops left Vietnam. Really, and that is that is the reason it's Vietnam Veterans Day, mm-hmm. and we need to remind people about the ceremony that's going on over there in Clay County at ten ten o'clock, I think. Ten thirty is coffee, and eleven o'clock is the start of the ceremony. Free lunch. It's gonna um, be a good day. Y'all need to go over there. I'm gonna try to go by if I can. I'm gonna really am. I'm gonna try honoring to honoring uh, Vietnam veterans. Yeah, and just be careful over there when you're over there, because I reckon. There's a couple of statues back of uh, Harry Vaughn, and definitely, please don't step in them. Them cows wow. got back out. <laughs> but anyway, you know, we got to, before we go to break, uh, Christopher Martini, we've had him on a few times. And when you talked about Mar-a-Lago, they actually debuted this uh, this uh, documentary film at Mar-a-Lago. It's called The Relentless Patriot, and uh, it's going to be released or is being released, and that's something y'all need to watch. It's really pretty cool, but it's called The Relentless Patriot. We need to get... Uh, Christopher back on for Canva. He lives up in New York and he's always busy and he won't answer my phone or call me back or anything like that. But the relentless patriot. So y'all go check that out. Let's go ahead and get to a break. We get back and talk about some more serious stuff. All right. Today's show is brought to you by Bannister Cooper Funeral Home. Let's go ahead and get your wishes in writing so that your family doesn't have to deal with that when that day comes. You can stop by our office next to McDonald's in Hiawassee or give us a call at 706-896-2218. And now with more news for Western North Carolina and North Georgia, I'm Jeff Batten. A 41-year-old Andrews man remains in the Cherokee County Detention Center after a wild night behind the wheel last Wednesday that included running from law enforcement, resisting arrest, and four counts of violating his parole. Wesley Stewart has yet to come up with the $50,000 needed to go free. It all started with his failure to stop at a stop sign, the arrest report indicates. A Towns County GOP leader is asking for the public's help as the party puts on a candidate forum April the 15th. Stephen Harper says the forum at the high school auditorium will go an hour longer this year than it did four years ago since there are now two contested races. In both, he is asking for the public to email him questions for the five candidates. No gotcha questions, please he adds. And District Congressman Andrew Clyde used WJRB's airwaves Thursday morning to chide President Biden for offering to pay for the collapsed Baltimore Bridge with new federal money. Yes, Clyde says the bridge has to be rebuilt, but it should be at the expense of other federal projects that have been advanced money already. It has to be done in a fiscally responsible way, which means rescinding money that had already been advance appropriated for other things like the IRS, like the Green New Deal subsidies, all of those things in order to pay for any federal money that goes to this bridge. Please download the free WJRB app for Pat Malone and Harry Bond. I'm Jeff Pat. This is Marvin Cooper with Bannister Cooper Funeral Home, and I'm here with our office manager, Cassandra Bannister. Cassandra, Ken just called you a little bit, and it made me think about all of our friends' nicknames. Red, Piglet, Speed, Smiley, Tank, Peanut, Spud, Oompa, Dink, and Stretch. I think Tamala and I need nicknames. I once called Tamala Chinchilla. Marvin Cooper, Tamala is going to kill you. I can't believe you just said that on the radio. We are Bannister Cooper Funeral Home, Towns County's local funeral home since 1934. Jackie Jones, Jackie Jones, Jackie Jones. A better solution for basic vehicle service has come to the mountains. Quick Lane at Jackie Jones Ford Hayesville is your go-to place for routine auto maintenance for all vehicle makes and models. Get extraordinary service from expert technicians and take advantage of our low price tire guarantee at Jackie Jones Ford Hayesville and JJFordHayesville.com. Jackie Jones Ford. 
Warmer weather is coming, and that means you've got 50 places to go, and you're still in love with the truck that will get you there. So spring forward with accessories from Rose Auto in Blairsville. Rose Auto. Bed covers, towing systems, steps. Rose Auto has what you need to do it right. Just up from 515 on the Murphy Highway. Rose is the only way to get your ride to a ball game, a fishing trip, or an overnight camping trip. Rose Auto. Type in Rose Auto Accessories on Facebook. We're next to Mike Seafood. Appliances, mattresses, televisions, all in one easy-to-shop experience. If you haven't been to Harvey Jackson in Blairsville, then you aren't saving the money you should be saving on washers, dryers, fridges, dishwashers, and more. Name brand mattresses like Tempur-Pedic, Stearns & Foster, Sealy, and Carrington Chase. Harvey Jackson on Highway 76 also handles appliance parts and can repair and install your new purchase. Buy it now. Get it home quickly with Harvey Jackson. Quality and service with every purchase at Harvey Jackson in Blairsville. There's honey do lists and there's honey I can't do this list. Heavy digging, tree stump removal, driveway grading. Call Mike in Blairsville. Mike Whittemore runs Georgia Mountain Grading and he loves big jobs. Erosion control, culverts, and digging. Yeah, digging. We covered that already. Georgia Mountain Grading. They're insured and they answer when you call. Fast estimates at 706-994-0543 for Georgia Mountain Grading. 706-994-0543. You love your heart, soul, and rock and roll on your radio. But have you visited our new and improved WJULradio.com lately? Bookmark so you can listen to your favorite songs or our morning shows on your computer or device. And while you're there, catch up on any local newscast and sportscast that you may have missed. You'll also find a complete schedule of our weekend programs. WJULradio.com is everything you want, everywhere you go in the mountains. Fridays on the Dish are presented by Bannister Cooper Funeral Home in Hiawassee. The experts at Bannister Cooper will guide you through the important family conversations when it comes to making end-of-life arrangements for a loved one. Yes, we're Towns County's funeral home, but we're welcome to all. And now, back to the Morning Dish. All righty, hope everybody's doing good out there and... Uh... Packing in between Stop, the breaks. <laughs> are y'all okay? Are your, are your feelings hurt? so emotional, man. A few station changes over here, so it's been good <laughs> knowing y'all. I'm going to be like Tucker Carlson now, man. I'm going to get your own news network. <laughs> these these Who two you got, are fighting man? like little girls. Come on. <laughs> there's, there's I'm someone. working on getting Marjorie Taylor Greene on uh, here, and it was supposed to be a surprise for Pat. Well, you didn't have to tell him. Oh, good. <laughs> and then Stephen got his feelings hurt. Well, you know, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> uh, we have Mike on the line. Hey, hey Mike. Mike, what's oh. going on? Well, oh, no. he's no longer on the line. Mike's not he on the line. Us. I don't up. blame him when he found out. Oh, yeah, me and Tucker. Oh. <laughs> me and Tucker. Here we go. Did Mike know he was supposed to hold on? Yeah. Yeah. Well, dang. Now, you said that the guy from uh, Fetch Your News, what's the scoop on that, Pat? I heard y'all talking about that a little bit. Uh, he voted illegally nine times. How do you do that? Well, he he was on. He was convicted of uh, a felony of federal uh, check forging, and um, yes, Stephen, you can go to jail for that. He, <laughs> <Can you really? laughs> yeah, he yeah. was he was uh, on probation when he came to Georgia, and yet he registered to vote and voted in nine elections before his probation was actually finished. And you're not. You're not permitted to vote if you're on probation. I didn't know so that. The judge, uh, the judge found him guilty, fined him uh, five thousand dollars, and a reprimand from the state election board. But the more important thing is, he's the vice chair right. of the Georgia GOP party, no the way. state party. Do they know this? And who's, who's? Yeah, they've known this from the get go. The people that voted him in knew he was under investigation for this. This has been going on for a couple of years, and it finally came to fruition. Right. I can't understand why they – this happened Wednesday. Why haven't they dismissed him from the party, from the from the leadership position? So this for the state of Georgia? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Why? Does that make it – does I didn't know if it was local difference? or state. I didn't know. He's in he's in Fannin County. Right. He lives in Fannin County. That's where Fetch Your News is is based. That's where his TV program comes out of. You know, and he's he's been a big one. He's a uh, he's with 
uh, the election deniers that it was stolen. Well, I know that's I we knew it was going there. What's your point? I mean, what's does that does that mean that all election deniers are wrong, or is it uh, election denying is all of a no, sudden it, a bad it, thing? Or it, like, what is your what's the point behind that? It's just ironic that someone who's railing against or railing for election integrity mm-hmm. is now uh, guilty of uh, uh, violating election law. Well, let's look at this. Let's, let's look at the, the other side, point. though. Now, in the other side of the coin, everybody likes to say, oh, like election denying and stuff. Well, what about the election denying that goes on on the other side yeah. when it comes to like voter intimidation and voter suppression and all that, which is yeah. just the hey, same thing hey, of the election wait, denying? Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I was talking about Brian Pritchard election denying. I was not mm-hmm. talking about election denying in in general. But now you're thinking. I just think. It's, but you, when you use the term like he's with the election deniers, that like that when you, brings the other that, that 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 what you're saying is like oh those crazy like you can hear yeah. it in your voice. You don't remember that chubby buck well, took the gallon run for if governor? That, if that's if that's what you're interpreting, but it's, it's, that it's, really it's, is not. That was not my intention, so it's not my problem. But that's what that you sounds like well, your problem. Well, it sounds like, but that's what you say every morning. So <laughs> that's kind of right. like it is what you mean because it's what you say election every morning. Election deniers, but they're actually de- election deniers on the other side too. Yeah, right. yeah, you, of course there is, and it's been going on. This is not a new phenomenon. It's been going on for years. Yeah. So you're thinking that? Okay. So what do you think is going to happen? What do you, What do you mean? About I mean, what? With him being on the election, I mean the uh, representative. Of, what is he? What is he on? What board is he on? He is the he is the vice chair, right? The second in command of the state GOP party, right? And so, what are you thinking? I, what I think, what I think should happen, is I think he should be removed from his office. Well, now, what I think will happen is nothing. Okay, so what's the difference between that and the mayor of Hawassi? What is the connection with the mayor of Iowa? Well, she, you know, she got caught signing, uh, signing uh, all kinds of uh, money to be spent, and you know they went through all that, and I mean she's still there. She didn't do anything illegal. Oh. Back up for just a second, Pat. So go, <laughs> going back, going back to Brian Pritchard, though. Okay, I'm so sorry. So these crazy election deniers, like like we're talking about, like Marjorie Taylor Greene, she was one of the first people to come out and say, "Get rid of him. We should be leading the way on election integrity," is what she said. And, yeah. and what did what did I say this morning about Marjorie Taylor Greene? I said for the first time, she and I agree on something. So the first, I gave her props. Come on. Well, hang on. The, so the, the for the first time, you and Marjorie Taylor agree. agree on something. Now, I could actually agree with that because Marjorie Taylor Greene's all about closing down the border, yeah. right? Only you know having strict border laws, right. and you know. But you, did you agree with her there? No. Marjorie Taylor. Yes, I would agree with her. So there. it's not I've the first time. Okay. It's not I've the first never time. Heard her speak on closing the border. Oh, you've never heard her speak on closing the border. Well, she's not on CNN, Packy. Oh, that's right. She's not on MSNBC or yeah. Axios. I got you, Pat. I'm with you, buddy. Yeah, we got you, baby. <laughs> we got you, baby. We got you. Are we going to do the kumbaya at the end of this meeting? No, man. Not today. <laughs> not today. Not. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not okay. today. Not today. I figured out the script. Oh, you got for, it. Uh, yeah, I got the script. Packy so. writes this out. You have to keep it. You got to stay on script, Pat. Yeah, you got to stay on script. Okay. All right, I'll I'll stay. I got some breaking news here. Another, please, what else do you got? I, I got nine about? states plan to ban gas-powered car sales by 2023. How about that? Georgia, one of them. Nope, Georgia ain't one of them. 2023 was last year. <laughs> yeah, scroll, scroll up, dude. Oh, 2030. 2035. I'm sorry, 2035. You can. Oh, shut up, Pat. It's my show. If I don't say 2023, I can. Hey. hey. I can administer beatings also. Yeah, it's like, yeah, okay. I got Shut you. up, Stephen. Yeah, they're going to. I got them right. Always said that. Shut up, Stephen. 2035. Washington State, Oregon, New York, New Jersey, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Delaware, and Maryland. They're going to they're ban. They're all blue. Huh? They're all blue. Yeah, imagine that. Hmm. I wonder how they're going to get hmm. around. When they want to drive somewhere. Well, hey, hey, their their leader said by 2035, 70% of new car production have got to be EVs. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. That's that's another reason those car nuts need to vote for Trump. Do you not think so? 
Do I think? Whew. No. Yeah. So the mess that it's going to create to have all the EVs is insane. That is, I mean, just, I'm glad that people are going to start. I ain't driving no dang electric car. Can you even imagine? Up they here? burn up your driveway. Exactly. But they're so, planning on doing all this. It's a bunch of crazy people. They're pretty fast, though, actually, if you ever driven a Tesla or something. Or yeah, the battery have, drains you down. probably have a lot of fun driving. So when are we going to get this Marjorie Taylor Green on? Did you? I'm gonna work, I'm working on this, man. I'm gonna, just, just, just relax. Well, you, you let can let throw my name this, out man. there. You can throw my name out there. I don't there. think that's going to help, dude. <laughs> just tell <laughs> them that I'm help. friends with the, with the Moon Pie guy. With the Moon oh, Pie yeah, guy? Oh, yeah, okay. You just going to drop some names. I got you. I got you. I'm yeah, drop you my here. name in there. Say, you know, him and the Moon Pie guy is like this. I do have one more thing to ask Pat, though. Pat, can I ask you? Okay, so okay. I got a question for you, a trivia question. What is France and Mexico and Belgium and Sweden and Italy and Russia and Japan and all Latin countries and all Middle Eastern countries have in common? They're all countries. They <laughs> all. It's all in all of those countries. Mail-in voting is illegal. Well, what kind of racism is that now? Do you know that? Why is it so illegal, what, Pat? What's the because point? of the fraud? Yeah, they discovered fraud in all those countries, and they and they they banned it in all those countries. Okay. I'm thoughts. just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm, just, I'm I'm not a big proponent of mail-in voting. By the way, I don't know why you're raising the issue with me, but that's well, you just okay. said there's no there, there was a clean election, there was no fraud, so I just don't. I, there. I Packy, come on! I've never said that. <laughs> there's fraud been in every election. What I've said was the level of fraud did not change the results. How do you know? How much fraud was there? I don't know. Did oh, they, well, there you go. You don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> then you, how do you know it's not enough? Yeah. I mean, you think we're crazy. It's like me and Gary, we're talking about this boat wreck up there, and all of a sudden there's two minutes of the black box missing, two minutes of the black box missing. I mean, you know, this this is, I mean, it's kind of coming together there, Pat. You need to. Nick, Nixon's secretary erased it. <clears throat> yeah, probably. So there was two minutes. So I've been traveling, and I have not read that. So there's two minutes of the black box missing. Yep, two minutes of the actual. So you know that that same boat had had already ran into some another port, right? Right. So now we have two minutes missing. And the and the and the, the guy second. that was driving it was Wait from Ukraine. Yeah. Yes. You're 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 uh. Uh, assuming that what Stephen just said is correct. See, but there's not election fraud. If you if you read it on conspiracyusa.com, then probably is correct. Okay, so we're there was a captain now? that I was reading this thing. I was actually trying to find it this morning. I was reading it last night, and there was this captain of ships, and he was talking about that these boats have so many backups right. for things, and if it, if it were to go down like that, then the power would have just been shut off on it, and it would have just. But it's got a backup. Generator. Yeah, and they have backup generators and a backup for the backup. And I said, there's really not any way that that could have happened. (laughs) (laughs) Two minutes of the black box was missing, Packy. That's what records everything going on the boat. But basically, this person is saying that this was. There's no way it was an accident. Uh, Well, I'm I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that there was election fraud. Yeah, I'm not saying the captain was the Ukrainian. He was driving. Did you, was did you watch all, that all thing in fast reasons. motion, though? Did you watch it in fast motion? I hadn't watched it in fast motion. Watch, watch it in fast motion. It, it changes your whole perspective on yeah. it. Really? Not mm-hmm. mine. It's espionage. <laughs> espionage. The scary thing is how quickly that did fall, though. Well, I mean, you know, that, that was. Gary said he's seen dynamite go off. I don't know if there's anything like that or not. But... Oh, well, now that's a whole new. <laughs> a whole new. Uh, Tell on this. Wow. Hey, put just put pack just put Pat up there on the full screen where they can see his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Golly. There you go. You guys never see amaze me. He wants to he wants, what? You never cease to amaze me. Yeah. Oh well, we gotta get to a break. So I guess Tamla, can you take us away? I suppose I can. Today's show is brought to you by Bannister Cooper Funeral Home. Um, <clears throat> We want to wish everyone a happy Easter as we move uh, through our Good Friday and on to uh, Easter on Sunday. So we hope everyone has a happy and safe Easter and uh, celebrates for the real reason that we're that we're celebrating Easter on, on Sunday. You can give us a call at 706-896-2218. 
Hi, this is Marvin Cooper with Bannister Cooper Funeral Home. At our funeral home, you won't want to ask for the man in charge. All I do is write the checks. My wife, Tamala, is the funeral professional, but I am good with finance and can tell you, in this time of high inflation, there is no better time to pre-plan a funeral. Gas prices are up, food prices are up, even dog food prices are up. Come lock in your funeral or cremation price today. We are Bannister Cooper Funeral Home, Towns County's local funeral home. If you've been injured, you don't need to go to Atlanta or Gainesville to find a lawyer. The law office of Daniel Duello specializes in accident cases and is based in Blairsville. I used to defend insurance companies and saw their attempts to pay less through pressure and delays. Now I want to use that experience to help you get treated fairly. Just search for Daniel Duello or call 706-603-3036 and I'll see you in Blairsville. It's 706-603-3036. Rolling down the road with Jackie Jones Auto. Jackie Jones Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Hayesville has received more than 50 slightly damaged vehicles and you can save thousands right now. Jeep Wranglers, Jeep Grand Cherokees, Ram 1500s and Dodge Chargers. Michigan storm damage means big savings for you. Most of them with just barely noticeable body damage. So drop by Jackie Jones Chrysler across from Hayesville McDonald's and let's make a deal. You will save thousands. So how do you know your tax resolution specialist is good at what she does? It's when other CPAs call and say, Help, Debbie, I don't know how to battle the IRS like you do. North Georgia Tax Solutions just recently took over a case and saved the client $82,000. Debbie did it and continues to do it for her clients. Call Debbie Snelling at North Georgia Tax Solutions, whether it's hundreds or millions of dollars you owe. Call 706-745-3856 in Blairsville. Improving our patients' dental health one smile at a time. Dr. Jared Houston, Dr. Courtney Marshall, and Dr. Tom Mims and the staff at Valley River Dental live by that principle every day. Get expert care within a broad range of services from preventive dentistry and periodontal treatments to dental implants and orthodontics. Or maybe it's just about perfecting a beautiful smile. So, if you're looking for a new dentist, consider Valley River Dental Dentistry in Murphy on Bill Hughes Avenue in Murphy. Dick Mills, he knows farming. He owns 7M Family Farms in Blairsville, and he's descended from a long line of farmers. And he still does it the old-fashioned, healthy way. That's the non-GMO fruits and vegetables way. He invites you to come out and take a tour and see their naturally grown, open-field farming, greenhouse, and hydroponic operation. You can purchase produce in the farm store or make a reservation for a delicious dinner at the cafe at 7M. You'll fall in love with 7M Family Farms. See their website, the number 7mfamilyfarms.com. Pre-planning for your burial or cremation wishes doesn't have to be a downer. Drop in to Bannister Cooper Funeral Home for a relaxed and comforting conversation with their team. Bannister Cooper Funeral Home, next to the McDonald's in Hiawassee. We love drop-ins. All righty, we're back with you. Mike, if you're out there, I tell you who it was that called us, Mike? Uh, yes. Mike, call us back, man. I'm sorry he messed you up on that, but we can get you right on now if you want to call back and talk about the Bible. I don't know why everybody's upset about that. I think that's pretty awesome. Do you not? And you said he teamed up with Lee Greenwood on that? Yeah, yeah. Something to do with the famous song that Lee does about the USA. I can't remember the title of Proud it. Proud to be an American? Proud. Yeah. The good old USA. God bless the USA. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's pretty. I think more people need to read the Bible. Of course, Harry left his over here, and I kind of thumbed through it. And, you know, people always underline all the stuff that they want to remember. But he actually had all his stuff marked out. I mean, like the Ten Commandments, he had all them scratched out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just crazy, ain't it? There's a lot of stuff in there just marked out. <laughs> I think in the beginning was the only thing left, I believe. Wow. <laughs> well, it's his Bible, not mine. Yeah. <laughs> Pat, you all right? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, this this Sean Diddy Combs is what's his name? Diddy, Diddy, P Diddy. I guess P Diddy, P, P Diddy. I don't listen to your kind of music, man. I don't either, man. <laughs> it's uh talking about his island, Executive Miami. It's a billionaire a lister. That's where they call home. Is his personal island out there? Does this not kind of seem like it? It's got a little bit of a connection with the other guy that committed suicide in jail. Maybe a little bit. What's the guy's name I'm trying to think? Epstein. Of? Epstein. Yeah. Does this not kind of sound like the Epstein Island just on a different different location? 
to you? I mean, honestly. No. Yeah. No, it don't. No. How come? I mean, there might be some anecdotal relationship in that both people own an island. I guess that you could say, yeah, there's a connection. Well, didn't they say something about sex trafficking and uh, all that going on with this? Is that not some of the stuff that they're talking about with the? And it's amazing uh, how a lot of these people that are speculation. Like it's amazing how a lot of these people that are mentioned in his documents are the same people who were mentioned in, like, the Epstein documents. <laughs> like, I, mean, I mean, it's like, it's such a crazy coincidence. I mean, we you know? got pictures of But we got to get Trump, though, right? We got Obama all hugged up to him. Yep. Obama all hugged up to him. Got a big thing on that. And then we got this uh, basketball player, former Syracuse basketball player, who was allegedly a mule for, uh, for P. Diddy. Are you serious? Arrested on drug charges. So he was a mule. So do I understand that this is involving teenage girls too, though, right? I think so. You know, they had this weird thing out there with that, uh, what's the uh, what's the kid's name? Bieber. Uh, yeah, Justin Bieber. They yeah. had a thing. With, Bieber looked like a two-year-old. I mean, he looked like a little bitty kid, but they yeah. said he was 15 years old. He did look very, very young. Yeah, and they're like, man, we're going, what did he say? We're going to party or. I guess I wonder, like, where's his, where's his parents, though? I mean. Like I mean, if would you let your fourteen-year-old kid go hang out just with a bunch with of rappers? Diddy? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's like what or well, anybody, like anybody at all. Like yeah, I don't even let him listen to a P D <laughs> on the radio any, or any. It doesn't matter who it is. You're not gonna go let him hang out with. Well, I mean, you might let him hang you, out like Waylon or something. I'd I mean, be Waylon. Yeah, that's but, different, but no way. He, I mean, but it, you would be shocked at the amount of family, like mom and dads, that let their children go home with someone that they've never met their parents. Well, I think that kid. What's his name again? I th- yeah, I think he finally got over all that. I mean, I think the drugs and all that stuff about killed him, and I think he finally. I think Kanye he, straightened him out, man. That's what happened. Kanye straightened him out. Yeah, he found the Lord, thank God, in a Cummins turbocharged diesel. But this, I do. I mean, I really do. I think there's a connection between this and. Epstein. I think when, and that's the thing about when you get rid of one, there's always another one pops up. And if, if this is true, I mean, this is true. If it comes out that he actually, all this is going on, that's why he's at that island. He ain't worried about the law. He ain't worried about the law. He's worried about getting hung. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would think. So I don't know. 86 acres. So yeah, I reckon he had gated community and, oh, well. Which island are you talking about? P. Diddy's. P. Diddy. P. Diddy. What well, is not the island that that P. Diddy lives on, Fisher Island in Florida? Yeah, but it's all gated in and all that stuff. It's still an yeah. island. Yeah, okay. And nobody was allowed in but, there but the A listers and billionaires. I and he's I, been charged he's been investigating for sex trafficking. I'm just throwing that out no, there. Wait a, wait a minute. Now and Fisher Island is so exclusive that only billionaires can afford to live there. Well, I, they don't live there, Pat. They just show up for a vacation, like a weekend getaway. Oh. Yeah, that's what they're okay. doing. Yeah. All right. What do they do there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Here. Don Johnson lived there during the Miami Vice days. Okay, that's back in the – that's back in the – and Vanilla Ice lived there. Hmm. I would it's, think it's, – that's kind of uh, scary. It's no, it's no different than – you know all the billionaires that live in Westchester, New York. For God's sake, it's a it's a billionaire enclave. What's what? I I don't understand the problem. Well, I don't I, either. Pat I think Boy. you're convinced you're con, con, confusing where he lives with where he's fled to. Well, they're saying that where he lives at was being investigated for what? What are they investigating him for? I, I don't know because they've never said officially what he's being investigated for. Yes, they the have. speculation is sex trafficking. Okay, speculation. Yeah. And you know, you know you're guilty until proven innocent nowadays. Apparently. Because I don't understand. Okay, you're like, okay, it's just apparently apparently this and you know that and other but then when trump does something oh he's guilty what's the deal with that i mean it's like the stuff he did in new york city oh he's guilty he didn't do anything wrong in new york city but p diddy over here has got sex trafficking stuff going on but it's just speculation what's the difference so misstating misstating the uh value of the properties he was putting up for collateral is not fraud (laughs) tell me (laughs) mr attorney no Okay. Um, no. Come that, on. That's good. That's good to know because I now live in a million dollar mansion. 
Yeah, you do. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I do. Their package just brought up something that's pretty cool. I just showed Stephen a picture of the Ellen. Look up, yeah, look up Ellen De- set, Ellen DeGeneres set, and then look up Epstein Island. They look just alike. They're identical. Are you serious? Yep. No, I don't. I don't. I don't, Pat. I don't think there was a problem with that because nobody lost any money, and it's not the. It's not my right. If I'm gonna go borrow money, and I say, "Hey, my car's worth five thousand dollars," they're gonna check, and make sure that thing. So I mean, you know, it's just it's called negotiating. And if they're stupid enough to loan money on a on a two hundred dollar car that I say worth five hundred dollars, who fault's that? Yeah, except if you sign papers that say your property is worth that, you've misstated it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. His property ain't worth but $18 that, million. That, that is, that is right. Even though the vacant lot there, like right next to it, is worth like uh Yeah, what, so how, how, did, the, how did the judge know that his property was only worth $18 million? Tell me that. How did he come up with that figure? I have no idea. Ah, no, that's what I'm saying. So you isn't know the what judge you know. guilty of what he's accusing I, him of doing? That's <laughs> what I'm thinking. Is it not the same thing? How did the judge know? I, n- I don't have any idea. I, I mean, that. that's, why, got that. that's why no, I it got went that to right. court, didn't it? Yeah. Who it, we got? It, to dig out the facts? Uh, oh, nobody currently. Oh, what happened? You hang up on them again? No, no. They hung up or something, lost service. Yeah, you hung up on them. I always no, blame it on did. that. I think the better <laughs> word would be they lost interest. Yeah, I think that was probably it. Uh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there he's there back again. Go. Bill Maher vows to do everything he can to make sure Trump loses the election, so he ought to be worried about that. Does anybody watch this late night stuff anymore? Nobody at all? watches that. Yeah, I, mean, I was just going to ask you, what kind of influence does Bill Maher have? He has none. He is a moron. Is he well, not a moron? Why, why, why are you worried about it? Why I just think it's him? funny. I just think it's funny. Just, okay. All uh, right. I don't hear anybody laughing at <laughs> Bill Maher's. Look at Puddin's all excited. I finally got, I got, got him. him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Third <laughs> time's beep, the charm. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got? Uh, we got Vito this morning. Uh-oh. Vito? Did you pay your money, Steve? I, I'm, I've got it right here, Vito. Hey, how you doing? Man, I'm good, brother. What are you into? Well, nothing much is driving, but tell Pat, there's no victim. There's no crime. The bank lent the money. He paid it back with interest. Everybody was happy. What in the world crime was there? Yeah, I mean, get your head out, Pat. That's all I gotta say. You heard that, didn't you? Well, if if Vito's saying it, it must be true. I'm with Vito. I guarantee. I'm with Vito too, man. Yeah. Well, what about what I about this? P. Vito's going to send Lefty and Tony <laughs> over to your house, man. Hey, Vito, what do you think about this P. Diddy Vito. thing? What do you think about? Is he still on? Yeah. What the P? What's his name? P. Diddy with all this Epstein Island stuff he's got going on. I mean, what's your take on that? It's hard to say right now, but yeah, I don't listen to that garbage anyway. So, but thank you, I appreciate. It. Thanks for calling, man. <laughs> yeah. Call anytime. I'll be over there and pay you first thing in the morning. All right, make sure you know ten percent. All right, ten. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Golly, they just keep jacking you up, man. Well, it's it's you. terrible being poor. That's well, you like thing. your legs, don't you? Though, yeah, I do <laughs> like my legs. Those are handy. Pay your ten percent then. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that, but anymore. Well, I guess hey, we. Who, who bought? Uh, who bought the DKT tr- stock? Oh, wait a minute! You just turned. Ooh. You just turned. I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? Did you buy uh, DJT stock? Yeah, I got a bunch of it. Yeah. Did you notice what it did yesterday? What did it do yesterday? I seventy nine and ended up at sixty one. Yeah, but you know I ain't worried about all that. I'm supporting Trump every way I can. But I do have to say that my Doge, my Doge is up to twenty one cents. What's your average you on that? What do I mean? I what, don't know what that means. Hey, average. Pat, what's the DJT week? Uh, uh, like, what, what did it do in the past week, DJT? Stop. It, uh, it launched at 43. It hit a high during the week of 79. It's now at 61. And according to a finance professor out of the University of Florida, it's a $2 stock. Okay. Looks to me like it's sixty dollars. Looks like to me it's up thirty eight point eighty five percent in one week. But yeah, pretty dang good gains there in a week, man. Yeah. You can say whatever you want, and I bought it about six months ago, and I'm doing pretty good on it. So I was like, I we didn't say anything about Joe Leader Man, Leader Man, Lieber, Lieber Man passing away. Who? <laughs> okay, we'll just skip that. He was a. Oh, go ahead. I. I... 
Just get his name straight, will you? I'm trying my best, but he got a lot of word letters in there. Liberman. Yeah. Liberman's what it says. Liberman. Joe Liberman. Passed away at 82. I don't know a whole yeah. lot about him. That was 80, uh, see, 2000 vice president. Who was he vice president for? Al Gore? Wasn't that Al Gore? Wasn't it Al Gore? He was on Al Gore's ticket, yeah. Al Gore invented uh, what he and the and internet, the, the internet and global warming, right? Is he not what he's responsible yeah. for both of them? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. What are we gonna give away, Pat? Hey, we got some good stuff to give away. We have some Logan Turnpike mail. Let's do oh, some man. of that today. Uh, we've got a twenty-five dollar gift basket set, and I think there's some local honey that she puts in there. She's got a uh, pancake mix, grit mix, all kinds of stuff. Twenty-five dollars to Logan Turnpike Mill. Delicious. You like the grits, don't you? I like it all. I like the pancake. I like, I like just going green. over and hanging out. Pancake mix. That's what I like. Oh yeah, Pat. I'm sorry, y'all. Tommy was supposed to be here today, and uh, he had to he had to do that goat yoga again for some reason. I don't know. So he's not here. But he said, "Tell everybody hello." I was wondering where he was at. Yeah. He hasn't been here in a few he's weeks. He's getting pretty. He's getting into that goat yoga stuff. So I don't know how that works. But anyway, take us away. All right, today's show is brought to you by Bannister Cooper Funeral Home. Let's get your wishes in writing, um, so that your family is not left without um, when you pass. You can stop by our funeral home next to McDonald's in Hiawassee, or give us a call at seven zero six eight nine six two two one eight. This is Tamala Cooper. A family recently told me that what they love most about our funeral home is that we feel like home and family. I'd like to introduce you to the newest member of our family, Kristen Carvajal. Come by and meet me. Pick up a calendar and let us answer any questions you might have about funerals, free need, or cremations. We are Bannister Cooper Funeral Home, Towns County's local funeral home. We are located next to McDonald's in Hiawassee, or give us a call 706-896-2218. Union General Women's Health provides obstetrics and gynecological services close to home. Our doctors include Kevin Davis, Cynthia Mercer, Kimberly Denton, Benjamin Harris, and nurse practitioner Christy Collins, serving all of Northeast Georgia, Western Carolina, and surrounding areas. Our office is at 19 Doctors Way in Blairsville. Call 706-835-2222 to schedule your appointment. That's 706-835-2222 for Union General Women's Health. Shop local at Eller and Owens Furniture and Mattress. The Eller and Owens family knows you have a dream for your home and for the generations that gather. We are four generations serving our clients with integrity and exceptional service. Shop to make your vision for your home come to life and let us help. You'll find personal service, countless custom options, and unique looks. Buy more, save more every day with Eller and Owens Furniture and Mattress. Furniture for your life, for your generations. Celebrate Easter at the Oaks Lakeside Kitchen in Hiawassee. Join us from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. for a special brunch overlooking beautiful Lake Chatoog and the North Georgia Mountains in the springtime. Enjoy our chef-attended carving station, a full special brunch menu, and live music in the background. Reservations are a must and can be made on Yelp.com. Don't wait. Secure your spot today for an unforgettable Easter at the Oaks Lakeside Kitchen. Limited spaces, so make your reservation today. Hey, it's Judy from Blairsville Eye Care. At Dr. Hollier's practice, we want to get to know our patients personally so that your eye care and eyewear fit your passion. Whether you're heading to the car shows, reeling in that trophy fish, or hitting balls at the driving range, our goal is always to make sure your eyewear fits your lifestyle. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with looking good, too. Call us today to schedule your appointment with Dr. Hollier at 706-745-2020 or visit our website at blairsvilleeyecare.com. Your feel better starts here. Your feel better starts with Healthy Smiles by Dr. B in Hayesville. Are you afraid or embarrassed to smile because of decayed or discolored teeth? Dr. B uses the latest white fillings, all porcelain crowns, and laser teeth whitening. Visit Healthy Smiles by DRB.com and get the beautiful smile you've always wanted so you can start feeling better about yourself. Call 828 360 3999 to make an appointment. Fridays on the Dish are presented by Bannister Cooper Funeral Home in Hiawassee. The experts at Bannister Cooper will guide you through the important family conversations when it comes to making end-of-life arrangements for a loved one. Yes, we're Towns County's funeral home, but we're welcome to all. And now, back to the Morning Dish. All righty, we're back with you folks. Hope everybody's doing good out there. We have got a question, and you're going to win a cool $25 gift card or gift 
basket from Logan Turnpike Mill. There you go. What's the question, Pat? All right, we got that. That's a good. Yeah. <laughs> God. The question. The question is: Grits are the official prepared food of which states? There are two answers. Okay, two answers. Yep. Ask the question again. Grits are the official prepared food of which states? There you go, 706-379-9770. And don't forget, the uh, we have got the uh, thing going on over here, the Veterans Vietnam Veterans Day over at the uh, Clay County Veterans Memorial Park. And uh, that starts at 10, 1030. 1030 for coffee, 11 o'clock for the program. Tri-County Office Supplies is challenging all other local businesses to match their $50 donations for the Patriot Pies for North Carolina servicemen. And what they're going to do is send all these uh, military men that's out uh, serving right now moon pies. They're taking truckloads of moon pies, well, so that'll make their day. So go over there, donate a little money, show your support and your thanks, and uh Go over there and do that at 1030, and that's going to be – they got a lot of stuff going on. they got speaker, luncheon, and so it's going to be pretty cool. So, anyways, if you can donate $50 to the uh, Patriot Pies, you can make your uh, – make checks payable to American Legion, post 532. And I bet the I bet the Moon Pie guy will be over there. Yeah, that would be cool. Well, we got somebody putting uh, – We do. We have Marie this morning. Marie, good morning. Good morning. How are, I would say that. Oh, go ahead. I am fine. Okay, you sound <laughs> Beautiful good. Beautiful day. You have to be fine today. There you go. Have you got the to, answer to? Are you? Do you like grits? I love grits. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. So they're disappearing, and it needs to come back. I'm Which with maybe you. you. Maybe you can make that a goal for the rest of the year, Stephen. Bring grits back. There you go. Kiss my grits. That'd there be the you name go. Of it. What's the What's the <laughs> question now, Pat? Grits are the official prepared food of which states? I say Georgia first. You're right first. What's the second okay. one? Um, probably uh, North uh, South Carolina. Yeah, you're right on both ends. Congratulations, what? Marie. Have you ever been Born to Logan? Right? Have you ever been over there to Logan Turnpike? Oh yeah, and they do have the best grits, no doubt have about that. Have you ever tried the pancake mix? No, I haven't. Try it. Yeah, it's good. But I'll definitely do that. There you go. All right, girl, thank you. Okay, thank you. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to let everybody remember what today is. Absolutely. What is today? Today is Good Friday. Good Friday. And we we choose at 3 o'clock today for all of us to remember. 3 o'clock. Jesus died died on the cross at 3 o'clock. So a little silence from everybody for a while would be wonderful. How about some prayers, too? Absolutely. Right on top. You got it. There you go. Hey, Marie, what's your last name? Young. Mary, I sent your name over to Logan Turnpike. They got your name there. So you just go there and tell them your name, and they'll get you your gift basket. Oh, appreciate it. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, good Friday. I mean, we about forgot that. We did. Yeah, but I forgot Good Friday, so, yeah. And then uh, Sunday, we're having a sunrise service at Friendship Baptist Church, which is pretty cool. So, I like okay. sunlight. We just do it, you know, for most of the year. I think a lot of churches do that. Yeah. But do y'all do Easter. that at your church? We do. Do the Catholics do the sunrise service? Mm-hmm. I think they do. I'm pretty sure. Well, obviously <laughs> well, you've we been could've... going your whole life. <laughs> no, I mean, but I, I think well, I sometimes know. they have before. I don't know if they do this year, but. <laughs> what about you, Pat? Y'all, uh, y'all, y'all, uh, what, what is it you are? You're a... Uh, libertarian communist Communist. your communist church what is yeah we have sunrise service yeah that's always good so yeah yeah this is a great weekend yep no doubt great weekend i hope everybody does good out there but we didn't even talk about that i feel plumb bad i think i mentioned it in one of the commercials during the commercial i did no no like when we went to commercial i mentioned it yeah Mm -mm mm-mm-mm But, I mean, you know, people, you know, they're making fun of Trump with the Bible and all that stuff. More people need to read the Bible. Very, very yeah, true. Yeah, we need to get, we need, because I'm going to tell you, man, we got all this stuff going on. It's, it's not looking good. And, of course, Pat don't think that the end of the world's coming, which he'll be, like I said, he'll show up one morning and look on his screen and it'll be nobody but hear him, him and Pudding. Oh, my <laughs> heavens, that was horrible. Even if people don't think it's the end of the world coming, they still need to read their Bible. Well, you know from a fact that the end of the world comes for somebody about every day, right? It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah about yeah. every day. About so. every minute. Yep, 
That's crazy. So. Anyway. Uh, you know, you're talking about that P. Diddy thing. This is something you need to check out. I don't know, but they said two dozen unregistered copies of Unhumans. What is that? Unhumans, a secret history. Uh, well, it just what? went down. Unhumans. It's actually some kind of a book. I asked Packy to pull it up there, and I don't know if he listened to me or not. I found a zombie movie, man. No. Oh. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, Unhumans. I need to check in on that. I get all this stuff. and, and uh, But anyway, can you check that out, Pat? Unhumans. You probably got a copy yeah. of that somewhere there. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm, I actually I'm see sure, it over your shoulder there. I, I'm sure that I'll uh, get on that right after we're off the air. Because yeah. it's a high priority for me to find out about zombies. Sounds yeah, you very excited about that. And they're getting yeah. rid of Dotsons over in Germany, man. Dotsons could face breeding ban. They're going to cut them out, man. They're not going to have cars over there? Dotsons. They're not going to have Dotsons? <laughs> like the 280Z? No, them Dotsons. I'm yeah. talking about the little dog, little short dog, long short dog. Oh, Dachshund. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Dotsons. That's how everybody pronounces it, Steve. Dachshund. <laughs> <laughs> what a cute dog. They're, what kind is a Dachshund? They're German <laughs> wiener dogs, aren't they? I don't know. They say they're, per, they're, they're, they're going to try to... Uh, Quit the spread of vicious canine characteristics. I don't know. Oh, at least I know that one on your oh, screen yeah. looks vicious. Yeah, Dachshunds are real, real vicious. Yeah. What about the what about the Mexican doorbells? They gonna let them keep going? Oh God. What? They ought to. They ought to be eliminated. I got one of those, and <laughs> dang. They're vicious little little creatures, man. Right. Little... They bark at everything. Oh, I love it. Well, I and don't they either. Bark at stuff that really isn't there, you know. Yeah, and they got the worst little mouse on them. So I don't know. I kind of like it, little Dotsons, though. Hot dogs, wiener dogs. I'm gonna call them wiener dogs. Yeah. Hot dogs, wiener dogs. So I don't know. Anyway, three o'clock, y'all. Everybody out there at three o'clock, definitely say a prayer for our country. And what we got? Who we got? Uh, Karen wants to make a quick comment. Hurry, Karen. We're about out of time. Yeah, all right. I'm quick. They should do away with dachshunds and chihuahuas. Eliminate the breed. That's what I got to say. What about pit bulls? <laughs> hey, pit bulls, they used to be nanny dogs. No, they didn't. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. No, look it up. That's you not true. That's a up. myth. Okay, you look it up. Oh, you look it up. No, oh, you look it up. look it up. We got conspiracy right. theorists right. fighting right. back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> you look it up. My job here is done. Oh, man. Pat's proud of himself. 